fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. of the first transcontinental railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country, but powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the president to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on! Silver, let's on the trail ahead. I'll silver, power! Fifty miles south of the shiny new rails that marked the Great Central Railroad, a buckboard banged and rattled along a narrow cow trail. The driver whipped the horse into a final gallop as he caught sight of the cattle in a flying wide chuck wagon near the cottonwoods. Yee-hee! Flying wide! so long they don't want to stop. <laughs> Howdy, Grant. Howdy, fellas. Howdy. Howdy. Tell you what, he's keep busy braining them cows. You can talk to Jeff all you want later on. Now get out there. All right, come on. Cook, come on. spread out a mess of beetles for Jeff. Reckon he's hungry. I'm hungry as a bear in springtime. I'll get a mess of beans ready. Now it's time to say howdy. Howdy, Jeff. Now what's this news you've got? Hey, you sure are a right deliberate gent, ain't you, Grant? Everything in its correct order, huh? Why, it took you so long to get around to asking, I figured I'd bust first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not you, Jeff. Not while you got news to deliver. Come on now, spill it. You been north? Grant, the railroad is ready to transport cattle. What's that? I was talking to one of their agents and brand me for a maverick if it ain't his own words. The railroad is ready to carry cattle by the carloads east to Omaha. Well, great day. Yeah. I know they was making regular deliveries from cattle spreads further east, but I didn't figure they'd stretch their service this far so fast. Oh, I reckon they're laying tracks west fast and crickets can chirp. Yeah, how about their prices? Uh, oh, the price is fine, Mr. Grant. I tell you, sending them by railroad to Omaha will be a heap more profitable than herding them all the way to Tonkinsville. Keno, that's the news I was waiting for. I'll tell the boys. As soon as we get the roundup done, the herd counted, we'll head for the railroad and... Oh, looks like we got company, Grant. Yeah, wonder what they want. Well, might as well wait and see. They look like mighty hard hombres. I never judge a horse till you see how he acts, Jim. We'll see. Oh, 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 is this a fine line? It is, stranger. My name's Grant. I'm the owner. Will you gents ease out of the saddle and have some chow? No, thanks, mister. We come on business and we're leaving Prano. Where's the gent who come here on the buckboy? You're looking at him right now. You came from the railroad line? I'd prefer to have you ask your questions a mite more simple, but I'll answer you. Yeah, I've been up to the railroad. What about it? That's all from you. Now I'll talk to the owner. Grant, are you planning to ship your cattle by the railroad? Well, that happens to be my business, mister. Well, I'm advising you not to. 
Me and my boys don't like railroads. Are you telling me how to sell my herd? Oh, I'm giving you a piece of advice. Stick to the trail. Don't have nothing to do with the railroad. Well, of all the cactus needle nerve, I... Oh, uh, hold on, you. Jeff. This here's my shindig. Mr. whatever your name is. The name is Slaughter. Slaughter, huh? Well, Mr. Slaughter, thanks for your advice. The Fly and Y used to trail herd his cattle to market. But from now on, we're using a railroad. It's quicker and it's cheaper. We figure on driving a herd north in about a week to put them in the stock cars. Now, you've got your Ansel, and you're in the saddle. So I'm saying adios. Ranch, you don't savvy. Maybe I better make it stronger. Don't try to ship your cattle by rail, or you'll be sorry. What sense? You heard me. Stay away from the railroad, or you won't have any cattle at all. Why, you, where's my gun? Why? Oh. Why, you, you're gunfighters. Grant to what you're told. And next time, we'll shoot to kill. Stay away from the railroad. Who are you? What's your reason Here, for... Here, maybe this will give you the answer. Pick it up after we're gone. All right, Chet, stretch the leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right, Jeff? Yeah, yeah, just wing me. What's the thing they throwed on the ground? Yeah. Well, I'll be... It's a spur. Uh, the iron spur. What's that? The iron spur. Mr. Grant, fix up my arm. I got to ride to the railroad at once. <laughs> Well, Miss Barkley, what do you say now? What can the railroad do about it? I just spoke to Colonel Parkman, Jack. Miss, if Colonel Parkman could spare some soldiers to help guard the flying Y herd, those outlaws could be beat off. We could get the cattle to the railroad. You'd better tell Mr. Grant he'll have to take the risk himself. Hey, you mean no soldiers? No soldiers. Oh, but land of Goshen. Them umbrella are gunmen and killers. Well, we got a bunch of willing cowardies, but they're not dueling with outlaws. They're not fast enough on the trigger. Now, look what happened to my arm. Uh, why can't you give us soldiers? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Colonel Parkman wants to do all he can to get trade for the railroad, but the soldiers simply can't be spared. There's too much need for them further along, past the end of track. Uh, that's too bad, miss. I don't reckon Mr. Grant will be willing to take the risk. Might be worth it, Jeff. Uh, maybe so. I reckon it's up to him. We'll have the stock cars ready and waiting. I'll tell him that, Miss Barkley. Here, steady, horse. Sure there's no chance of soldiers, huh? I'll talk to the colonel again, Jeff. And perhaps I may get someone else to help you. Who? Well, I'm not sure. I can't guarantee anything. But I'll keep trying. Adios, Jeff. Adios, miss. Get in there. Adios. I'll try. Hello. Uh-huh. In here. John Barkley signal. Where's she at? It's plenty dark. Over that way. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Hello! Hello! He's here. Near stream. Steady, Silver, steady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, Silver. Hello, Master Man. I knew you'd answer my call. Hello, I range this section every night. When we hear your call, we know it means trouble. What is it, Miss Barkley, the railroad? Oh, not exactly, although it concerns the railroad. Do either of you know a cattle ranch called the Flying Y? It's located in Lead Basin, about 50 miles south of here. Me know where that is. Me not know Flying Y. A man named Grant owns it. He was going to ship his cattle to market over the railroad, but... Uh, you said he was. Something changed his mind? Oh, yes. His foreman, a man named Jeff Thomas, came here to see if Colonel Parkman could provide some soldiers to protect the herd on the way here. We can't provide any soldiers, so the Flying Y may not use the Great Central. Just a minute. The trail from Lead Basin to the track isn't dangerous. No, but the Iron Spur is. Oh, Iron Spur. So that's it. The Iron Spur has told Grant not to do business with the railroad. Yes, and they'll back up their argument with guns. Masked man, will you go to the Flying Y in place of the soldiers? Will you convince Grant he needs the railroad and he must bring his cattle to the track? That mean heap trouble on trail. The Flying Y in Lead Basin. Yes. The owner is a man named Grant. His foreman is named Thomas. Jeff Thomas. Masked man, do you mean you will go there? We'll leave right now. By tomorrow night, I'll be talking to Grant at his ranch house. Adios, Miss Barkley. Good luck. Get off. Come on, Silver. Did you hear that, Mr. Grant? Sounded like a horse outside the house. Well? 
I don't see anything. No? Oh, I reckon I was hearing things. Well, I've been plenty jumpy myself, Jeff. Ever since those iron spur hombres laid down the law. Mr. Grant, you can't let them buffalo the fly and wide. All my money's tied up in them cattle, Jeff. If I lose them, I lose everything. You mean you won't use the railer? Well, I can't take the chance now without soldiers. Dag nab it, Jeff. Don't you see the pickle I'm in? I need help. I need a couple of gents who are honest and fearless, who can beat the iron spur at their own game, who can shoot quicker and straighter. Gun-fighting fools. And where can I get... I want to talk to you, Grant. What then? I've been outside the door. I heard you say that... Mr. Grant, he's wearing a mask. He's, he's an outlaw. One side, Jeff. I'll... That's right. Leave your gun right in the holster. Gee, Horsefat, I never saw such a lightning drawer in my life. He had two guns pointed before your hand even touched the gun butt. I came here as your friend, Grant. I intend to keep things friendly. I'm no friend to an outlaw. Uh, the umbrella uh, you're looking for is the iron spur. No. My friend and I came to help you against the iron spur. <laughs> That's a laugh. What could now, you hold do? hold on, Jeff. Just a second. Mister, there's something about you. I don't exactly put my finger on it, but somehow or other, I got a feeling I could trust you. You can. Then suppose you take off that mask. You'll have to trust me with it on. But here, perhaps this will explain who I am. A silver bullet. Mr. Grant, he's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? I know I was outside with the horses, Grant. Now, if you're willing, we'd like to help you with your roundup and help you when you start your herd on the trail. That is, if you'll change your mind and use the railroad. Mister, I sure will. With you to help me, we can lick the iron spur all the way. We'll finish the roundup tomorrow, then we can start the trail the next day, and then... What in blazes? That came from outside. Hello. Tonto, what happened? It wasn't your horses that ran away, mister. They're right over here. Tonto, Tonto, why don't you speak? Kimosabe. Tonto. Tonto. Kimosabe. He's been shot. Is the Lone Ranger all right, Smarty? Lone Ranger. Shut up. Why didn't you put a bullet in him, Whitey? He's inside in the ranch house. I couldn't get to him. Took care of his partner, Slaughter. The engine? Yeah, the one he calls Tonto, standing right next to the horse is a clear target. <laughs> Emptied my six gun at him, all five bullets. No, sir, boss, I reckon if Grant figured the flying Y could change plans and ship cattle by rail, <laughs> then he changed his mind right back again. With the engine dead, the Lone Ranger is all by his lonesome, and he ain't enough to beat us all. <laughs> Mighty nice work. Mighty nice. Yep, we'll see to it that every ranch in the West stays away from the railroad. The Great Central can't get business, they'll go broke. The tracks will turn to rust. Yeah. We sure kept the flying wide, broke the harness. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, Slaughter. Hey, <laughs> last man, Lone Ranger. No, you don't. Hands off your guns. You can't fight us all, mister. Just because your guns are in your hands. There's a campfire going, but the flames don't give much light. Sooner or later, one of you men will get up enough nerve to slide a gun at me from the shadows. No, Slaughter, I'm not fighting. Not this time. What do you want? I trail this dry gulcher here. Before I take him with me, I want to tell you the flying wise and licked. Neither is the railroad. Before you take me with you. <laughs> That's what I said. You shot Tonto, my best friend. I'll take care of the rest of the iron spur later. But as for you... Now, Silver! No! Slaughter, help! He's got me! What's the subtle? Shoot! Shoot him down! He's got Whitey! Come on, Silver! He got away! He got away and he took Whitey with him! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The Lone Ranger took Whitey back to the Flying Y, where he was locked in the shed behind the bunkhouse. And all that night and through the next day, the masked man and Jeff Thomas were very busy. I don't know, masked man. It's sundown, almost 24 hours since that hombre shot your engine pod. Whitey will stay in the shed till the sheriff takes him for trial. Oh. Masked man. Follow. Oh. Me heap tired. Kimo Sabe. You're better. You, you've opened your eyes. Oh, me and Bunk. What, what happened? Oh, one of the iron spur dry gulch changing. You come mighty close to cashing in your chips. If the masked man hadn't stayed up all night to get that bullet out of you, you'd be riding the happy hunting ground right now. Iron spur. Don't worry, old friend. We, we got the man who pulled trigger on you. The main thing is you're going to get well. You stay right here in the Flying Y Ranch house till you do. What? What about railroad? Uh, the cattle will go to the railroad. We'll start driving the herd along the north trail very soon. Um, you can get up. Hey, no. Lie down. You're too weak to get up. But you need a of help. Iron spur, he bad. Lie down, Kimosabe. You've got to get well. That's more important than capturing all the outlaws in the west. Oh. Uh, everything get dizzy. Me do what you say. That's better. If we get along without you, Tonto, we'll have to. Even if the Iron Spur does follow us, I think we can outsmart them. Jeff, where's Mr. Grant now? He's out. Back at the bunkhouse, mister. Fine. I've got a plan I want to tell him about. We'll see you later, Tonto. Rest easy. Uh, Tonto get better, Kimosabi. You'll not worry about me. Tonto worry about you. You understand what I have in mind, Tonto? Huh? Tonto savvy. Well, I'm sure it'll work. Iron spur plenty smart. Well, we have Whitey locked up. The others will end up the same way he will. Uh, that good. Mass man, we're ready to hit the trail. We got to get moving and then cattle will be hard to handle. I'm coming, Jeff. Adios, Tonto. Adios, Injun. Keep on getting better. Adios. Adios, Kimasabi. All right, Jeff. Let's get that herd started. Steady, Silver, steady boy. Ready to go? Ready, Central! Here comes the flying wide! Boys are ready to put on the prod, mister! And get them rolling, heading north for the railroad. I'm on the trail! Here we go, Silver! <laughs> Feel a mite better now, Injun? Uh, you, you cook good food. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly have picked up a heap in the last several days. Why, ever since the men left on the trail, you, you've been getting better real fast. Uh, cattle gone three days now. Mm-hmm. Outlaw, him still locked up in shed? Oh, he sure is, Injun. Um, by the way, did you get up this afternoon? No. Me supposed to stay in bunk. Yeah, I know you're supposed to stay in bed, but I could almost give an oath that I saw you near the shed. No. Oh, shucks, I reckon I must have been seeing things. First place, you're not supposed to do any walking, and second place, there's no reason in the world for you to be near that shed where we got the outlaw. Well, if you're all through, I'll take these plates now. Uh, time to finish. I'll look in to see you a little later, Tonto. <laughs> that good. Bunkhouse, plenty empty. Yes, it is a mite lonesome. Most all the men are gone with the trail herd. Just me and the cook and old Henry with you. What that? A door slamming. Sounded like the shed. But that door locked. Hey, get out of my way. Take this. Oh, Tonto. What that? Who ride horse? Tonto, it's outlaw. Oh. He broke out of the shed. Old Henry tried to stop him, but he knocked Henry out of the way. It's outlaw, Tonto. He's riding away. He's going to join the other bad men. <laughs> I sure got a good spot here, James. You bet you are. Yeah, we've been following that trail herd for three days now, keeping out of sight, waiting for our best chance. And there they are, down below us. There's our campfire, a hole left for the night. Now, around sundown tomorrow, we'll have them right where we want them, in the narrow section of the pass. We can bottle them up there. Yeah, Vance. 
bottle them up and stampede their own cattle over them from the other side. <laughs> It'll be the finish for them and the cattle, too. I wonder if they strung up Whitey yet. Forget about Whitey. If he was hanged, well, he was hanged. That's all there is to it. We got a score to settle with that mast, hombre. Which we'll uh, settle tomorrow night, Savvy. <laughs> and now you gents better get into your blanket rolls. We want to be up at dawn to watch a flying Y. Slaughter. Yeah. Heading right this way, traveling in the dark. I thought we had this spot well hidden. Post to your gun, Vance. Huh? Don't be loco. That horse must be carrying one of us. There's no other way he could know how to head straight for the camp. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'll be doggone. It's Whitey. Well, howdy, Whitey. Well, we figured you'd be bait for the buzzards by now, swinging from a cottonwood. Yeah, they're locked in the shed. This afternoon I found the door open. I got away fast, Slaughter. You know, we can use another gunman. No, wait, you don't savvy. I got news. That's why I burned the trail getting here. Flying Y herd isn't going this way, Slaughter. Oh, uh, you got eyes, Whitey. You can see their campfire. I tell you, they ain't there. They make it a night ride along the other bend of the stream. You've been eating loco, Whitey. It's the truth, I tell you. Slaughter, listen. Just before they pulled up stakes, a masked gent and Grant talked over their plans for getting the herd to the railroad. They knew you'd be trailing them, so they figured out a scheme. These ways, a masked man figured it, and Grant agreed. What's that? They planned to leave a campfire burning here to hold you overnight. Meanwhile, they're heading another way up the West Fork. Shut up. Let me get this straight. West Fork, huh? Yeah. Uh, Whitey, it's a good thing you got away. Now we're on to them, we can still get them. Now listen, gents. If we start now, we can be at the upper end of the West Fork before sunup. We'll have to ride hard. So will the fine one. Yeah, we can beat them easy. They got to go slow on account of the cattle. And get this, gents. I reckon we'll be even better off than we would have been the regular way. Huh? Yeah. The north end of the West Fork ends in a narrow pass, too. It's even narrower than the one on this side. Now, all we do is let the cattle go by and then pinch off the riders. <laughs> Get your horses, boys. The masked man isn't as smart as he figured. <laughs> Jumping into the fire just because we're getting out of a frying pan, Jeff. Slow him down. He know, Mr. Vance. Easy there, not too fast, the That's all right, isn't it, Masked Man? I know we've got to outwit the iron spur, but... Yes, of course, Grant. We left the campfire going when we pulled out. Now, if we fool the iron spur, there's no need to hurry. Yeah, I... Masked Man, did you say if? Never can tell for sure, Grant. Here, rain up a moment. There's something I want to discuss. Whoa, whoa, Falcon, whoa. Steady, Silver, steady. Grant, do you remember when we discussed this plan for evading Slaughter's gang? Yeah, it was back at the ranch house. We were right next to the shed. We had the outlaw locked in that shed. You mean that whitey fella? I'm uh, wondering if he heard us, Grant. Heard us? Well, what if he did, mister? There's no way he could pass the word along to the rest of those buzzards. Perhaps he got away. <laughs> Not a chance. Grant, uh, what time will we reach the North Pass? If we keep prodding the cattle along at this rate, I reckon we'll get there about an hour before dawn. An hour before dawn, eh? I want you to stop the herd before we go yeah, through the pass. Stop them? What for? I want those cattle on this side of the pass when sunrise comes. Mister, I don't understand. I also want all the men except two or three to leave with the herd and go with me. Mister, I don't savvy this. You got some further plan in the back of your mind? Yes, I have. Now's the time to mention it. Grant, if we'd moved those cattle straight ahead along the East Fork, we wouldn't have had a chance with those outlaws. Here at the West Fork, we do stand a chance. But the cattle... I know the cattle are important. They must reach the railroad. But it's just as important to capture those outlaws. They'll continue to fight against progress. Well, I reckon so. And it is possible that Slaughter and his gang... Mister, whatever you say goes. If you want me to leave the whole flying Y herd, I'll do it. What's your plan? <laughs> Beginning to get light, Slaughter. The sun's coming up. Yeah. They don't savvy about those cattle, though. I can hear them bawling. They haven't moved any further this way in the past half hour. I can make them out now, Slaughter. Here they are, Sam. Yeah. Why don't they herd them through? The sun's shining through the pass now. We can get a good look. Slaughter, what happened to the flying wire range crew? There's a whole herd of cattle, but only two riders with them. Now, well, quiet. Say, that is peculiar. What happened to the masked man and Grant and Thomas and the others? <laughs> Hey, look, those two riders are starting to prod the cows along once more. Yeah, that's right, heading them this way. They'll pass right below us. I still can't figure where the other man went to. Well, you can search me, Whitey. Daly, you and Scar pick off those two outriders. The rest must be around someplace. We'll... What the? You're looking the wrong way, Slaughter. We're up above you. Not shy. 
not with that to let you know we're coming after you. Mask man. Up on the slope above us. Whitey, we've been tricked. We set a trap and walk into one ourselves. One silver. Here we come. They're charging down on us. What do we do? We can't cross the valley slaughter. It's jammed solid with cattle. Packed tight as free drinks at a bar. We'd be trouble to death if we tried. There's no choice, gents. Turn around, grab your guns. We'll have to fight against the masked man. We don't have a chance. Fight, Doc. Can you hear the come? Don't give them a chance. Look out for that horse. This is for Toto. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot. You knocked the guns right out of my head. I give up. Here's my gun. This does it, mister. Throw ropes around them, boys. would look mighty natural behind bars. Take care of them, Grant. I'm heading back to the Flying Y to see Toto. Adios, mister. Thanks to you. We'll get the cattle on the railroad, won't we, boys? You let me go, Grant. Kino, Kino, you got us. But I don't figure how. How'd you know what we planned to do? <laughs> well, Slaughter, Whitey broke away from the ranch and told you what we planned to do, didn't he? Hell, only I... Only the Lone Ranger was too smart for you, Wombrous. He was figuring one step ahead all the time. You see, Slaughter... The Lone Ranger planned things just that way. Yep, he made sure Whitey heard about our plans. And he made sure Whitey would find that shed door unlocked. As a matter of fact, it was the engine himself who attended to that little matter. The Lone Ranger and his engine pod. Yep, it takes more than a bunch of back-shooting bad men to lick that combination. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.